So I have this uh, camera from a while ago and I am uh, really happy with it but uh, when I needed to uh, shoot something uh, quickly usually I would take it out and the battery was uh, flat. I tried to charge it before I uh, store it but again after uh, a week or so or several, several days the battery just uh, gone uh, flat and I tried to look online what might be the causes for that and uh, I actually figured it out uh, almost uh, by mistake so what happens is is that the camera seems to be off but actually it's uh, uh, waiting for the wireless connections so all the wireless functions of the camera are uh, on and uh, this is in order for it to be able to switch on when I uh, with the remote uh, viewfinder so now when I'll switch on the remote viewfinder it will turn on the camera and that requires the camera to be constantly on with the wireless functions okay so uh, and this is very convenient if you use the wireless a lot but when you store the camera it's uh, actually uh, not so good because once you will want to shoot something with it uh, it will just be empty and the way to deal with it is to turn it on and uh, go to the menu and go to this settings menu here and disable the remote uh, on so I'm uh, disabling it here like this and now when I'll switch off the camera it will be uh, completely uh, off and would not drain the battery uh, the bad thing that I can't switch the camera on with the remote viewfinder so if I would like to use the viewfinder I will need to turn first turn the camera on and then to uh, switch on the viewfinder the same goes with the phone uh, Bluetooth app uh, first you'll need to switch the camera on and only then to switch the app or the viewfinder uh, because the other way around and you see now I have turned off the viewfinder and the camera doesn't turn off so if I switch it off and I'll try to switch it on with the viewfinder then it just would not find the camera it will uh, search for it uh, and would not find it so uh, and for me actually it's uh, pretty convenient uh, so whenever I want to use the viewfinder I just make sure to switch my camera on and this is how I solve the issue and I'm uh, much more satisfied with the camera now thanks for watching